All right, I'm going to show you how to get a tension reading using a iPhone app or iPad app called Spoke Tension. And the app uses three pieces of information to get the tension. Two of them you input. Uh, one is the diameter and material of the spoke, which is, as you can see, we're going to use this little gauge here, and we're going to check, see if it fits, 1.8 doesn't fit, or sorry, 1.7 doesn't fit, 1.8 fits, so this is a 1.8 diameter spoke, and it's steel, we know it's steel, okay? We need the length, and this is really important here. We want to measure the length from this nipple head, just the, the outer edge, the sorry, the inside edge of this nipple, all the way to the cross. That's the open span where it's going to ring. That's what's going to resonate. And I've already measured this one, but I'll go ahead and remeasure it here. And I have got at the cross to the nipples eight and a quarter. So these spokes are 1.8 diameter steel. Now, if you have butted ones, just measure the centerpiece, the butted part, the narrower part. They are eight and a quarter inches long. And if we open up our app here, we can see we've already got that set to 1.8 millimeter, eight and a quarter. And you can see it's already trying to read some frequencies. This is the frequency it's going to try to read. I'm going to set this up like this. Hopefully you can see that. I'm going to take this spoke and I'm going to hold on to this lower one where it crosses. I'm going to pluck with my thumb here this upper one. You see we get a nice reading, one single spike in our little chart, and we get a 90-91, somewhere right around there. You notice you don't have to pluck it very hard, just get a nice clean ring. Now we can grab this other spoke here. You can see it's quite a bit lower, 86 or 87. All you want to make sure is that you're holding on to the spoke that crosses preferably a few others around it in case they start ringing as well. You don't want them to, to resonate or to, to harmonize. And that is all you have to do. You go around, check your whole wheel like that. Oh, that one's real low. Got to tighten that one up. That's good. See? And of course you'll expect we'll get higher readings on the drive side because it's a steeper angle. So 104, 105, but this one happens to be the same length span so we can just use the same settings for it. Alright, thanks for watching.